All right, nice to know you. Yep, it's that one by Incubus, drummed by, please let me get his name right, otherwise they're gonna kill me on YouTube, Jose Pasillas. Mm -hmm. and we got this um, really powerful groove. Um, what I'm gonna do first of all is, is explain to you how to play it without all the ghost notes, without all the drags. We've got two bar pattern again. The first bar's in three, four, containing three beats. The second bar's in four, four, containing four beats. And if we break it down and play the simplest version possible, the bar of three, four, we're playing eighth notes on the hi-hat, open hi-hat, one and two and three and. The snare drum falls on beat two, and then a delayed snare drum on the and of three. So we get one and two and three and. And the bass drum is falling one and the uh of beat one, just before that first snare drum on beat two. Then we get uh, a bass drum on the uh of beat two and into beat three. A three, a three and. So slowly that first bar. One and a two and a three and. One e and a two e and a three and. Let's put the two bars together, simple version. One and a two and a three and one and a two and a three. A four E and a bit faster. One, a two, a three and one, a two, a three. A four E and a one, a two, a three and one, a two, a three. A four E and a and up speed. So that'll get you through, that's the basic version. Now the next thing is we're going to try and play how Jose plays it with some ghost notes. So going back to the bar of 3-4, we've got this little drag which falls with the first bass drum on the uh of beat 2. So we're playing two notes falling with the first bass drum on the uh of beat 2. One and a two, a three and, one e and a two, a three e and a four e and a. And up to speed, what we got here? Ignore the pulse in 4-4, four, four. that's our quarter note. 1 and 2 and 3 and... You can use any crash cymbals you like, rather than the ride cymbal. If you forget it's the ride and play the crash instead, you know, just a matter or you leave out the open hi-hat, no one's going to hear the difference. So that um, second bar, one E and two and a three E and a four E and a one. It goes down, da 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 da
well, it's not really that cool, but he's playing away in, in the chorus and then he floats his stick over. So when he plays the um, small snare piccolo, he's playing it with the, um, with the uh, butt of the stick and then he swings his stick back round again while playing without stopping um, when he goes back to the other sections. And if you get really comfortable with this pattern, you'll naturally add your own ghost notes in. So I'll go over that in a second. I'll show you some examples of it. Let me just play for you what I've written, the simplified version of the pattern. Get this down first, and then you can add your own ghost notes in afterwards and um, spice it up a little bit if you want to. Three, E, and open hi-hat, or opener, more open. Opener? Yeah, we'll go with that. Opener.